warboard uh, calling for help another castle a report was sent to uh, from a group of soldiers uh, no that's the building blocks another castle transcribed messages sent to the Vaslan command uh, bunker from the near uh, nearby Saltone base indicates that most of the civilians population living in the area were being moved there in preparation for evacuation the base is located on the west coast of Sodra Salcom, Saltan, which is this part of the island that we're on. Um, and it seems to indicate include an underground bunker complex that might hold further answers to the whereabouts of the people of the archipelago. We've come across a few bodies, very few. We've come across um, some Swedish tanks that have been destroyed. We've come across one or two dead bodies of soldiers and one or two dead bodies of civilians uh, and some cops as well but very few people um, and the whole of this command base there was nobody there was no bunker there was nobody at all now admittedly we've not done a full sweep of the base yet but we've done a reasonable uh, scan through and there's nobody seems to be responding but we want to find these people. So let's sorry, let's actually track that mission. Um, and again, that's that's linked very much. So we'll actually because that's the same base we think. But we'll go to another castle is the one that we'll go for because we don't have exact information so the in our command center we have some tools that benches for recycling kits that's for improving our equipment uh, this is for creating new ammunitions and other consumables so we'll go and we will try and find out find the uh, transcript about the evacuation so let's there's a mission marker up there which kind of suggests that's in that direction but let's a shower room and loo or in the submachine gun is a pretty crappy one but we managed to rescue or salvage it from a civil defense um, uh, st a storage area let's let's listen to the old answer phone Saltholmsbasen. Det är västerut härifrån. Det låter som att det finns någon typ av radiomast där, men att den blev saboterad när allt det här började. Uh, det måste ha ingått i fiendens strategi. All radiokommunikation slutar funka för oss redan dag två, och sen dog telefonerna. Uh, ja, efter det så var det total radiotystnad. Så om vi lyckas få bort det som stör kommunikationen, kanske vi kan använda långdistansradio och skicka ut nödrop. Do you like the state of the art phones and answer phones? And how about the state of the art VDU? They are pretty good. Computers by Swedcom or Swecom. Which is fair for um um Right, so Hang on. That's not what we. That's. That was more about the. Uh, the 
base. Where's another castle? That's where we want to get to. Right. Did you hear that ping? That's one of the robots that have appeared. That was a, a flyer. A flyers appear to be unarmed. Um, oh, sorry, you asked a question. Hello, L LBT uh, by Gem. Ha it's good that you could come in. I we I saw that you fo were a follower. It's good that you're here. Absolutely. Uh, and buckets. I can fast travel, but I can only fast travel to places that I know, and so I can go to uh, the safe house here, uh, and I can go to th the other safe houses, and I have a uh, a radio uh, that if I place the r uh, a field radio somewhere, I can uh, tr fast travel to the field radio that I place. Does that help the an uh, answer the question? Either of you Generation Zero people? It can save a lot of time if you're going back and forward, certainly, yeah. Right, so... I'm There's a that's an indication of a uh, side mission that I'm going to leave for the moment because I think we've got enough on our plates with regard to trying to work out what's happened to people though that side mission might help us but at the moment let's do the main the side missions are actually particularly helpful in this game and it's raining that's a help and a hindrance that it's raining the robots detect us a lot by sound and we certainly can, can detect the robots by sound it's up there Shotgun's not going to be much use outside at that range. So we'll put. I thought I told it to change to a shotgun. No, obviously I didn't. I have now. Sorry, uh, from the shotgun. There, can you see it through the fence? hasn't shouted for help yet which is good oh there's another one did you hear that noise that was a another robot another kind of robot that's far more dangerous kind as the incoming bullets tell us you need to hop back on do you so were you actually playing or you mean you you, you need to go back and start playing again so it's up there whoa it's a flipping hunter That got rid of his, the main da uh, weapon of the hunter.
so. If you shoot the robots on... Yay! It blew the, uh, uh, the, the, the hunter. The hunters are a lot stronger. How many more are there? How many more? Come on. The r rifle I'm using at the moment is a lightweight hunting rifle. They, it does a fair bit of damage, but uh, it's not the fastest by a long way. Um, right. Reload. Thankfully, you don't lose any... Ow, that hurt. Love how the robots carry first aid kits, though. Right, let's loot up. Aye, an IV uh, processor. That actually means that we can now put. Uh, we can put night vision on to. Oh, we've got two. I hadn't realised we've got two. low. No, that's a low light. An IV. So we've got thermal imaging now on our uh, on the uh, the hunting rifle, which is quite a a plus. Another IV. Right, I need to get myself some medicine though. Yeah, get back playing. It's a. They've made. Qu uh, depending on how long ago since you've played it, they have made an. This is a, such a different game from what they launched uh, originally. Um, there's base building, there's um, uh, daily missions, there are um, uh, NPCs, not particularly helpful NPCs, but there are NPCs. And there's one of the latest things they brought in was uh, robot companions. So... Oh, there's something off to the um, to the south. The threat indicator there. At times, I feel as though I'd like to turn off the UA, uh, UI, but other times, I'm very glad there is a UI. Right, is there anything over there, or is that clear at the moment? looks clear 
one of the things I am grateful for even at the, the max difficulty which is what it's set at um, it doesn't you don't lose ammunition if you uh, change your uh, uh, your magazine early um, some games so there's a body some games that uh, as you're probably fully aware if you change your magazine anything left in the magazine is lost Ooh, a military hunt naturally no, not a military um, a phoenix um, hun a hunter so how far did you get uh, when you were playing then you started about three weeks ago when the game went on sale. Ah, right. Right. <laughs> Om de ens är vid liv. Jag tror att vi kanske faktiskt kan hitta din farmor och farfar och dina kompisar och alla de andra där. Oavsett vad som har hänt så bör vi komma riktigt nära nu. Right. Let's loot as best we can. Ah, ooh. An automatic rifle, but a pretty crappy one. And yes, I do have picklock skill. Oh, Skelly eighty two gifted a tier one subscription to Buckets Murphy. Skelly, thank you very much. I'm going to have to have words with you. I am. You, 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 you're being too generous, but. Thank you for the sub very much. Thank you. Buckets, you've got some uh, uh, you've got some additional emotes, and and to be honest, Skelly, you've got some extra emotes as well now. I believe um, I've uh, changed uh, I've changed up some of the uh, uh, the emotes. So please feel free to use them uh, wherever you are on Twitch. Uh, I personally do like the yay. Yes, I do like that yay. Um, definitely recommend that one. What's the one that you've got there doing the dance? Is that one of yours? Skelly, have you come across Buckets yet at all or not? Because Buckets is a streamer. Might as well have another one, Buckets. Right, so... Looks as though... Some, I'm not sure... Ha shot through the wall? Yeah, machine gun through the wall, perhaps. Or, or there was that shotgun pellet, perhaps. Ah, better pump action. In game, the weapons come in different standards, um, and being Swedish, they call it. Um, the uh, uh, in being Swedish, they call them crowns. So if we go into our inventory and have a look at th weapons here, you can see the grey ones are one crown, and the green one. Oh, we actually had a green pump action already. 
hadn't f I'd forgotten that. Carrying more than I ought to be. I'm got some. I've got some capacity left though. So, uh, yeah. Hey, don't put yourself down, buckets. Uh, there's some more there to loot. Have we looted everything? I think we have now, haven't we? Oh, I love how the waypoint marker that I put on uh, t ties right into the middle of the uh, um, uh, the, the shelving stack. Right. So let's see what we uh, what have we got around here. Anything in the truck? No, the truck is effectively empty. Uh, there's nothing around the vehicle. Oh, another dead soldier. They seem to have had a firefight at the uh, and a copper. Um, they seem to have had a firefight at the gate here to the base. Uh, explosive can can gas canisters. Just what you, le you leave around on a military base. So stripping down the car for anything that might be of use. You know what it's like. Good old role playing. You loot everything in sight, and then you st struggle with inventory. Oh, I was go that's what I was going to do. I was going to where it's relatively safe. Let's do some first aiding. Thankfully, first aid doesn't take quite as long in here as it does in uh, some other games. Um, I find um, I find the time it takes in the Ghost Recon um, games somewhat disconcerting, uh, and the number of times I've There's a robot there, looking to the way, thankfully. Threat monitors picked up another one. Oh, so there was a bit of a firefight here by the looks of it as well. At least the guard where? The other side of the building bollocks of it. Yeah. Can you hear it coming round? Right. Handgun silencer, green quality. Oh, another submachine gun. Can still hear a robot somewhere. That robot kind of got dis well and truly destroyed. Love to know how he shut himself in an upside down container. Right. Quick. Another soldier. Oh, good that you're back, uh, Buckets. Don't think you've missed much. Had a s dealt with two um, two robots at the gate to Sultan Base.
threads and flares. Not particularly helpful though. There's loot. Bird shot could be useful. I'm hearing robots, but I'm not seeing anything. Right. Ooh, gas canisters. There's a robot. I hear a hunter. Right, I'll be quite honest here. Hunters, at when you're a uh, got a lot of skilled uh, character, I mean if your character is fully skilled and you've got high quality weapons, and not really um, horrendous, they are in fact they're quite reasonable. Um, in fact, it's possible to one shot them with some weapons. But when you've got starting kit and you haven't got lots of armor in your cl uh, your uh, clothing and you haven't got uh, all of the the skills, th they're more of a challenge, shall we say? I'd rather allow the. Um, I'd rather deal with the doggos, the runners. Did that have a gas launcher? I hope not. Yeah, he has a gas launcher. <sighs> Looks what what do you think I've made an upgrade? <sighs> Sorry. I um, missed missed the context of that. Any others? Right, if we throw another flare out, hopefully we can distract them again with the flare and... saw how much that uh, uh, ammunition that took. Admittedly that was into the body rather than the... Um, that was fun. Shouldn't have stuck his head through the door. I think we got the rote hunter as well. Yes, we did. Right. Now the green robots might have the 9mm ammunition we need for our submachine guns. Is that another hunter? Did I hear another hunter? Is 
is a hunter. That's a dog. Maskiner som patrullerar runt basen. Ja, ah, jag, jag förstår. De är nog eh, placerade där för att vakta. Det betyder ju att vi är på rätt plats då. Right. I wonder, is there any way up onto this roof? Because sometimes it really helps to deal with them from a height. No, but we can do it from here. Missed. That got it. A tick! Ticks might be small and they might be not as dangerous as some, but they can kill you all the same. Um. I was too close to those explosive canisters. That hurt. I thought I'd looted all these. Did the explosion? Th oh, there's oh yeah, the explosion through the other one. St still got two. So that's one that, not sure how that one got killed. That's one that we took out. Looks like the troops got some. I'm hearing a tick. There's Somewhere over there, there it is. I can just see the uh, fuel tank sticking out of the top. There is the tick. Let's actually put a silencer on the end of our pistol. point in drawing too much attention to ourselves. Snyggt jobbat. Först och främst. 
främst måste du hitta någon sorts kraftfull sändtagare och kolla att den funkar. Vi måste vara helt säkra på att det inte är något fel på själva utrustningen. Right. So, radio. There's a dirty great tower there. Comms tower. Microwave dishes attached. Not sh Right. So I think it'd probably a shotgun probably be better to use around at the moment. Whoa, there's definitely something there glowing. And it looks remarkably like a tick. Need to get that wave mark out. So go back, try the radio again. Right, so they've come up with effectively another mission for us, another auto rifle, low quality. But we came over here to find the civilians and there's no sign there's no sign really of the military, let alone civilians. There's a few bodies, but surely there would be a lot more people on the base than the few bodies that we found. And we haven't found the underground complex yet. But there's stuff over there. There's stuff over here. Getting a reasonable amount of 7.62 ammunition for the auto rifle. Right. So, boathouse. Empty. Though, to be honest, in-game, none of the boats are actually usable by us. We can't swim, and, um, yeah. If there were a couple of changes I would make to the game, then I would make, uh, I'd say, let's be able to swim, and let's be able to climb, because we can jump up things, but we can't, climb like it would be nice to be able to sort of to reach up and to climb on top of a small hut like this without the aid of a ladder but even with these things up against the wall we won't be able to get onto that roof do you see what I see
burnt out Volvo. Oh, sorry. They're not called Volvos in game, but you can very definitely tell it's a Volvo. So, I'm hearing robots. What sort of? Uh, yeah, I have a a, f a, f a one to um, a one to four zoom uh, uh, scope. It's the basic scope that uh, they that you find in game. You can get up to uh, to uh, eight, what was it, eight to sixteen times um, sniper scope that will only fit on the fifty cal sniper rifle, if I remember rightly. Uh, and then there's various other ones. Uh, f 4 to 8 and I think there's a, si a 6 to 12 certainly I'm not sure if there's anything else at the moment they do keep bringing little DLCs out some of the DLCs are free and some of the DLCs are oh do you see the dog there oh Some of the DLCs are uh, pay for with a, a s relatively small cost. There's two dogs in there by the looks of it, but. Yeah, so if I throw a flare. You'd have hoped that they would have come. They're shooting at it, but they... Let's try another flare. Didn't mean to go... Well, that was a tick cooking off. Oh, I'm hearing a hunter. Did you hear the hunter? Yeah, I did. Uh, yes, I did upgrade it. And I put a... Um, what I did was, from the downed flyer, I picked up an uh, IR processor. And I was able to mount that onto the, sc uh, the scope. And what you're actually seeing is... on uh, If you look at the... If you look at the rifle in front of me you've got the w red light our uh, bats on the IR pr uh, plug-in if you like to the to the uh, the scope but it is a well it's actually a green scope I think rather than a, a grey scope but let's quickly check into the primary weapons down to the Mauser hunting rifle attachments uh, muzzle is empty. Uh, scope, yeah, you can see it's a two crown on the left hand. Sorry, on the right hand side there, you can see uh, two crown scope that's uh, that's there. There's the IR um, module, and it's actually the two crown rifle. Some weapons you can't uh, you you can't mount scopes on. Some uh, you can only mount certain types of scopes on. Uh, some you can mount vision processors if you've got a scope and others you can't mount. Uh, the, the submachine gun for example won't take a telescopic but you can put a um, a very basic uh, gun sight on optical sight that we might have at some point uh, but that one won't support a um, uh, won't support a a, a, a plug-in module. I'm not doing. I don't feel as though I'm actually looting systematically here. 
Uh, it's going to be a problem. Because I'll lose track of anything in the truck. Nothing major. A few 9mm rounds which will be useful. Right, so refill my hunting rifle. In fact, let's actually switch the hunting rifle for a shotgun. You hear the hunter. I don't think he can get through the door. I'm hoping not. That's got rid of his firearm. Well, I wasn't expecting a hunter immediately inside the door. There's Doggo there. I knew there was a hunter around because I could hear it. Another little radar. Nothing major in here though. What's down here? No power. Anything around. I can hear stuff, but it seems to be at a distance. Dead soldier. No power. Can't go through there then. Another soldier. Can hear a tick down there. I'm guessing it's that red light that we can see. Yep, there it is. Shut the door behind us. Helps reduce surprises. Oh, that was a tick cooking off. Yeah, that hunter uh, kind of made itself uh, available for um, dispatch, and the fact that I could get had a, I had a corner that I could uh, hide behind, uh, so it couldn't necessarily see me properly, uh, was a was a definite advantage. 
knocking the gun off. Right. Let's investigate as Pontus has just asked us. If we can find a clue, yeah. Not hearing any more hunters, but I'm hearing lots of dogs. Oh, I'm overweight. I'm overloaded. Right. Interesting. Therese is thinking that it might be something uh, that elements of the army might be involved. Um, but uh, Pontus says he didn't know anything about anything that's going on. That it's gas mask in that. That's good. Do need to deal with the the extra weight I'm carrying though. And we'll go in and we will have a look round. Assigned to slot one. That dealt with him. Right, sleeping accommodation, bunk room, anything in here. Food. And uh, ah, four by eight scope. That will mount that. That's that's definitely something worth mounting. Uh, attachments. And we'll just switch that for the 4 to 8. That makes the ri hunting rifle and another one far more useful. Though to be honest the green ones don't have brilliant accuracy and... something in here Is that a tick in here I can hear something that was overkill for a tick we seem to have cleared the room Still other robots around as you can hear. I uh are you able to de yes. 
did you see how I did that on the uh, with the recycling bench? Right, let's read that information because uh, log another castle that's the radio transmission this one here right during routine maintenance operation in the heavy storage hangar the, the valve on one of the tanks we, uh, was apparently defective and broke its contents leaked into the room and all three men present in the room collapsed instantly 24 hours later they ha still haven't regained consciousness my preliminary observations suggest that the gas is toxic although be it not lethal and it seems to quickly induce a deep comatose state that we haven't been able to reverse at this stage. The vitals are strong, the brain activity is unaffected, but evidently any exposure to this substance is extremely dangerous. Uh, in our current times, confidentiality is ever more than, uh, more than ever of the essence. However, I hope the objective and origin of this shipment is not of concern, but the implication, regardless, is troubling to say uh, to, to say the least I would be grateful okay so something's been hacked out transcript with we know we've come we've effectively heard that one because that was on the tape right Yes, it sometimes it takes two loads of buckshot. Getting used to finding dead bodies. over there I think there's a tick as well as a dog in there in this room as well Close the door so we don't have any nasty surprises. I'm only hearing a tick. Two ticks. else in here what the 
tydlig om det. Men det är ju samma dag som allt gick åt helvete. Leverans ID FNIX. Vad tusan betyder det, Pontus? Ingen aning, tyvärr. Det kanske är ett kodnamn på operationen. Men det har någonting att göra med allt det här. Det är jag säker på. Gas uh, canister shipment receipt. The document uh, is a shipment manifest apparently related to the contents of the gas canisters. 10th of the 11th, 89. Uh, pressure, 40 pressurized canisters. Recipient salt on base. Sh origin of shipment. Shipment ID Phoenix. Temporary storage for onward transportation. Hazardous uh, material handle with extreme caution. Right, so it looks like, uh, the, as Teresa pointed out, the army uh, somehow or other uh, was involved in shipping sleeping gas into a base where the civilians were evacuated to against protocol rather than being shipped to the mainland. Which is strange. But where are the robots from? Well, what's. Yet the robots had cards that allowed them access to the bases. So we've searched that one. Have we got any more to search? canteen yellow leather boots oh let's check what uh, we look like with yellow leather boots on uh, profile shoes oh it's not showing us it should there should be a representation of us there with the Never mind. There are some very comic outfits that you can put together uh, within this game. Uh, nearly all of it has roots very definitely in the 80s. Most of it can be justified in the sense of 1980s. Um, but yeah to today's sensibilities it looks weird the um apparently the game was put together by um a group of uh, Swedish programmers who grew up in the 80s who wanted a game that was nostalgic for them um and hence this is what we've got really yet yeah, they've gone to great lengths to ensure that anything that anything that could be copyrighted or um, uh, in sense of music or uh, 
trademarked in the sense of car names or whatever they've all subtly changed them so this is now oh, I thought I should the Saab cars for example are called Bjork in here or something the Volvo is called Ville so this is this is the new site that's on here the upgraded one and so you can definitely see that that is so much better than the previous one we'll put that back in the slot for the moment just in case of what might be coming up I don't know there might be some other I've got a torch on still probably best not to show it so 